no shot. I'm ripping a donut up. Yeah, he did. What is going on guys? Will here, welcome to the video. Life is unfair. It is, I can easily eat my body weight in donuts, but for me to burn that off would take a long, long time. It sucks that 30 seconds of pleasure could lead to one hour of cardio, but some people seem to believe that you can out train a bad diet. And while you can, it's just not sustainable. So to put things into perspective for you all, I'm only gonna eat what I burn for the entire day. So you can see how hard it is to expend calories, but how easy it is to eat calories. I am going to be using the Apple Watch to track my calories burned for this challenge. Yes, I know it's not accurate. It's like trusting V-Shred. You get a general idea, nothing feels quite right, but you gotta settle for what you got, right? So I'm gonna be using the Apple Watch and the first form of cardio we are gonna be doing is the Peloton. Biking, cycling is a great cardio option. And we have a number generator here with one to 60 representing minutes. So the minimum is one minute, so already, one form of cardio is off of the table. So whatever I generate is the minutes I get on my Peloton. And by the end of it, I see how many calories I have for my breakfast, simple as that. I'm not too hungry in the morning, so I don't really care if it's a, a low number, but let's go. Three, two, one, generate. Okay, 21 minutes on the Peloton. We gotta see what I can do with that for breakfast. Okay, so we're gonna do a 20 minute Disney hit ride. So with the warm up, 21 minutes. So we're gonna start the Apple Watch. I love the Peloton. A bunch of people from all over the world riding together and coming together at the end. So, doing the warm up right now. I'm not an experienced biker. It's already feeling kind of hard for me. Peloton, you ready? It's a long time coming with this one. Ride. I don't like a family friendly ride. What is this? No curb seats, no bad language. I promise. Chose the wrong one. I should have known with Disney. You love this ride. Get easy. I'm having keeping it fun and flirty. Oh, in my humble opinion, we're doing hill intervals right now. So you go resistance up to 70, drop back down to 35. Oh, I can't do another mountain. No, been going a little bit over the halfway. 96 active calories burned. Not much. Let's have a donut. We have about four minutes left. And I've only burnt 165 active calories, so that's not even enough for a protein bar. Unless I wanted a built bar, and I'd rather fast. Cheat it, 55 to 65, three, two, one, let's go. We have 30 seconds left. 198 calories burned. Oh, 21 minutes down. It was actually hard to concentrate because there was just banger after banger. The songs were just getting me going, not to work out. But uh, we burnt 205 active calories and 242 total, total calories. So if you guys don't know what that is, total calories is including your BMR. So that's like the additional calories that you would have burned if you're just sitting on the couch. So 202, 205 from actually moving. So not much to work with, but we will make do. On our way to Burger King. Now, usually if I'm going to Burger King, my life is taking an unexpected turn for the worst and you have permission to kill me. But I do like to make my annual visit to make sure I still hate it. However, I have not had the breakfast before, so I could be surprised. My options are limited. Oh man. Feeling kind of spoiled to get to indoor dine. I love the ambiance that a Burger King provides. I didn't know that they changed their slogan from have it your way, although it's still mine when it comes to a different kind of meat in my life. So I got three French toast sticks. So I love a good French kiss and some French toast sticks. And these are apparently phenomenal. I've never had them before, but they seem to be like the top menu item here. Got some uh, syrup on the side. And of course you gotta try the coffee out to see what that's all about. So I burnt 205 calories. This is 430 calories for the whole thing. So if my math is correct, half of 430 is 215, which means I get slightly under half, which is quite sad, but Kofi, you get something. Cause I never feed you on the channel, do I? No. Oh, I'll invoice you. Okay, so cut the syrup. Here we go. They look like they've been fried a little bit. Oh man. The syrup tastes suspicious, but the actual stick itself is super 
good. I, I actually thought I was gonna be catfish, but it actually looks exactly like the poster, which is quite surprising. It's spongy in a good way, kind of what you would expect from French toast. Okay. Tastes like the king's bath water. It's actually pretty good. I mean, you gotta give them credit. It's fun. The form factor was there for the French toast stick, so nothing to complain about, but nothing really to celebrate. My stomach is killing me. I feel like the Burger King slogan should be, the bathroom is this way. But in the middle of a chest and back workout and I'm having an incredible workout, PR after PR. Heavy, uh, I got a rep PR on the dumbbell press, rep PR on the chin ups, but I've actually burnt less calories in 21 minutes than I did on the Peloton. So people think that you burn so many calories when you lift weights, but you don't. You actually burn more calories when you walk. So we, why do we work out and why do we lift weights? Because you build muscle, which boosts your metabolism, which you burn more calories at rest. So don't think that if you do a heavy deadlift day or a heavy squat day, you're gonna burn more calories and like more carbs. You don't at all, like not at all. It's a sad, sad truth. Okay, oh, that is gonna wrap up the chest and back workout that ended on my watch here. So I worked out for 48 minutes, 25 seconds, but only 417 active calories. So not using those calories towards my next meal. I just wanted to do that to show you guys, you don't burn many calories when you weight less. It's just pretty much like low intensity cardio. So uh, the next thing we are doing is we're gonna go on the treadmill for a jog slash a run. And based off a bunch of the websites I was on, that cardio, like treadmill, and running, jogging, burns the, most amount of car uh, burns the most amount of calories per minute than any other form of cardio, which is great because, as you probably imagine, I am very, very hungry. Drum roll, please. Come on, come on, I'm hungry. Three, two, one. 13 minutes. The lucky 13. I'm gonna have to go pretty hard. Shit. This is gonna suck. Yeah. Before I kill myself for the next 13 minutes on the treadmill, you may be wondering when you do cardio why your Apple Watch shows a different calorie burn to the treadmill. And that's because the treadmill, unless it tells you to put in your height and weight, will like just base you off the reference male, which is a 154 pound person. So that could wildly underestimate your calories or wildly overestimate your calories. So a general rule of thumb, for cardio machines, whatever you burn, subtract like 20% from that total. And that's actually kind of what you did burn. Uh, so yeah, just keep that in mind next time you do like a cardio thing, you look at calories, just know it's based off not your actual stats, which is very, very important. If you're looking to like eat back what you burned, it's just gonna get you in trouble. So time to absolutely go ham for the next 13 minutes. I might throw up, which will be fun for you guys to watch, maybe. I'm already tired after the workout. Oh my gosh. Last minute. I'm going to see my cardio ancestors.
So I went for 1307, burnt only 214 active calories. So, I mean, that's not good news. So I gotta think of like a fast food place where I know I can get decent volume for 200. So I'm thinking of getting like a, a suboptimal sub at Subway. But do you see how much effort that was? I literally almost passed out and threw up and I'm about to take down, I don't even think I get a six inch. I can take that down and with my track record, that's, you know, seconds, so. Well, well, if you're alive, just like stick an arm up or something. Yeah, he did. Can I get a six inch turkey on whole meat, please? Now, I really don't mind Subway, although my mom says if I have it every day, I will go crazy. Um, people give it a bad rap though. They say the bread tastes like yoga mats, the chicken tastes like kitten wings or something, but I kind of like the unnatural taste to it. It, it, I kind of dig it, and I like, and it has like a very like distinct smell. Like if you had it and you walked by me, I know where you'd be. I know where you'd be. So I got a six inch turkey on whole wheat, no cheese, 250 calories, and I only have 214 calories. So I gotta have to, I gotta circumcise my sub and just remove the top, around 30 calories worth. And here we go. I will say though, as I've gotten older, I've been having a harder time processing Subway, but I still dig it. Something about it, man. I deserve so much more. So much more. I deserve like a foot long meatball on Italian herbs and cheese with double cheese. That was literally less than a minute. If I thought I was gonna die before, I might die now. So we're gonna be doing a HIT circuit. So HIT is great to burn a lot of calories. However, it does take a toll on your recovery. So I don't recommend doing it every single day, especially when you're weightlifting. So probably around two to three times a week at maximum. So we have three things set up for me to do. The first thing is a tire flip. And this tire is 400 pounds. So I'm gonna do three reps that way. And then we're gonna walk over to the medicine ball and we're gonna do 10 slams with the ball. And then we're gonna go over to the battle ropes. And we are gonna do uh, 50 reps of the battle ropes and that's one round, two minute rest, repeat for however long I get. I think I'm gonna burn. I have to burn over 300 calories here. I have to, I have to, I will, I will. Thirty-nine minutes of hell. in. Oh, at least we made it to round two, unlike elsewhere. So we're only three rounds in, in uh, just about eight minutes, and my heart rate is hitting 177 beats per minute after each round. So already just about 100 calories burned in eight minutes. So gonna be definitely the most amount of calories burned in that one session for today. Okay, so we went for 36, 21, active calories, 364 burned. So that's good news, we cracked the 300 mark. My back feels like it's been blown the hell out. Like, the tire gave me a run for its money. I'm not really familiar with rubbers anyway. But that, that caught up to you. It just felt like 400, next round 500, 600, it felt like 1,000 pounds at one point. Uh, starving, and uh, we're gonna go figure out the next meal. <laughs>
While I am most familiar with the alleyways behind my local 7-Eleven, I do get the occasional sniff of the food that they have to offer inside. So we're gonna go in and see what I can get with 364 calories and see how they measure up to the back alley hot dogs. I also get um, the buffalo chicken taquito. All right, so we got 7-Eleven. So a great meal option if you're looking for a new way to express self-loathing. So I got two things. I got the hot dog and I got like kind of like a, a taco blunt. It's kind of like, it's called a taquito. I don't know, this kind of thing looks very, very good. I will say though, seeing the food kind of spin on those like metal tubes was about as appetizing as like, you know, a 30 years later Playboy edition magazine, you know? So let's get into this. So this, is the hot dog it's a quarter pound but it's not about the size it's how you use it you can have anything feeling like a full pound um not too big nothing to prove here no chip on its shoulder i didn't put anything on it just want to have it raw dog just so i can actually see what it's all about wow that has a lot of flavor man it's like very hammy got a nice pop to it mmm I don't know if it's good or if I'm just starving right now, but it is unreal. So this hot dog is 530 calories. The taquito is 190 calories, which makes it to 720. I get exactly half of that for 360. And uh, this is actually really, really good. It's hitting the spot right now. I feel like anything would actually hit the spot right now. Mm. It's oily in a good way. The skin is thin, but the meat is thick. Mm. And that bun, it's on point. Cut. <clears throat> looks to be about half. Now let's get into this taquito. Never had one of these before. It's very crispy looking. So this is the buffalo chicken one. 190 calories. It does taste like it was a temperature before this, so that being frozen. Not bad though. Definitely a good appetizer kind of thing. That meat is the meat. I'd be a bit gracious calling that meat. Whatever that is. Is not bad. There's a nice cheesiness. It has a, and it has a nice like zing to it. Decently spicy. Getting a bit of a head rush right now. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that was meal number three. 360 calories gone like that. Took me 39 minutes, 36 minutes uh, deadlifting a 400 pound tire to earn it. So if this video has not put things into perspective for you guys, I really don't know what will. We have made it to the last and final meal, the dessert round. Of course, I'm out front of a Tim Hortons and I have my skipping rope. I'm confident with my skipping abilities. This is the one place where I know I can get multiple reps in. So it is very hot outside. In Toronto, we are like in the middle of a heat wave. So hopefully I don't get too much time, but hopefully I get just enough time to get a donut, like just enough time. But we're gonna see. Three, two, one. Okay, 16 minutes. That's enough time. I feel like in spite of how good my rope work is, like. No matter what I do or what the time I got, I couldn't get a dozen anyway, so 16 minutes it is. All right, starting the jump road session. Here we go. I'm just taking in. Boston cream is definitely off the table. Just about two minutes in, 15 active calories burned. Damn it. I'm gunning for that 200, there's no shot. I'm ripping a donut up, no shot. Last minute. Uh. Okay. So we went for 16 minutes, three seconds, 209 active calories burned. I didn't get quite 220 for the Boston cream, but I do believe the Canadian maple is 210, so that's some pretty good news. Hopefully they have one in the display there. Uh, I feel so deserving of a donut, so let's go get a donut. No chance for doing a cake donut, no way. We're going over, we're going over. The hardest, but definitely not the longest I've had to work to earn a cream filling, we got ourselves a Boston cream donut, 220 calories. So actually after all of this, we're 11 calories over what I expended. So the moral of the story is, 
You know, use cardio as a tool to create a deficit and use it for your heart. Don't use it as an excuse to make poor food choices because it will come back to bite you, not in a good way. Of course, got a medium dark roast. Black, it's moments like these, videos like these is the reason why I'm a black coffee drinker. You should never drink your calories. There's only one place for that. So. I am going to wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.